Hi all, Planetside Agent here. Today I'd like to uh, show you another one of my cook sets. This one's based around a Tokes, um, I think 650 milliliter uh, titanium cook pot. I uh, originally put this one together. Uh, I took it with me when I'd go out on my kayak. Um, I have since replaced it with a uh, one of the Pathfinder bottle kits, but uh, sometimes I use this one. It's a nice little small compact kit. Lay, weighs 11.2 uh, ounces as is. Uh, <clears throat> but I just throw this in the uh, kayak case, you know, a cooler day or something. I want to stop for another cup of coffee or a um, cup of tea. So anyway, I'll show you how I put this one together. I like these uh, Tokes uh, little bags. Some people don't, which I don't understand, but I like them. So anyway, here's a pot and I don't know if you've seen these Tokes pots before. They're really great. Uh, just quick, quick review. A lot of people have, have done reviews on these and cook sets on these, so nothing, nothing really new here. Just my particular take on it. But you can uh, slide, slide this over so it stands up when you're cooking with it, and then it's got the butterfly handles for picking it up. It's got everything you want. So. Anyway, I'll show you the contents of this one that I, I actually took took out. I never really used it. <laughs> I brought it in case I felt like another cup of coffee. I, yeah, a lot of a side note. Um, in the spring, summer, and fall, I like to take the kayak out for breakfast on the uh, river. I'm only I had less than 20 minutes from the house. I can be on the Willamette River here in Salem, Oregon, and uh, I'll make a coffee and a sandwich and uh, paddle across the. Uh, the river into the slough and just find a sunny spot and park and uh, it's uh, there's a big uh, wild park uh, right right across the river from town which is really nice uh, you get a real remote feel for not having to go very far but anyway I sit and have my breakfast and uh, so in case I was in the mood for another cup or felt like it I could pull over and uh, and fire one up but so far I've never had that urge but uh, I got it just in case so anyway what I have in it is some Waterproof matches, a mini lighter, uh, an alcohol bottle holds two ounces. This is a uh, energy shot bottle, and two ounces is going to boil at least probably four cups, one ounce each. Okay, and then I have, oops, <laughs> the uh, fancy feast alcohol stove. This was another one of mine. It's uh, I've made a lot of these because, you know, they're cheap, fun, easy, and I can put them in all my kits. I don't have to keep swapping them around. But as again, if you're not familiar, it's a fancy feast. Cat food can. Uh, this is a uh, one of those small coffee drink aluminum cans cut down. Some cuts in it for the uh, fuel. Uh, carbon fiber or carbon felt around it. Uh, some vent holes drilled in it. And there you go. I mean... Pretty basic and it works like a champ. Okay, this some you might be familiar with. This is uh, one of the cups from the Stanley Cook stainless steel cook set that uh, is real popular. I, I thought it was cool, so I bought one. And uh, they come with two of these cups, which are kind of insulated. And uh, a lot of people don't use them, but uh, I found a use for them here. <clears throat> I say I like them because they're insulated. I like my drinks hot. I don't like to drink them lukewarm or room temperature. So I like my hot drinks hot, my cold drinks cold. I don't yeah, drink lukewarm. But anyway, one of the nice things I found about this, it fits, as you can see, perfectly inside the Tokes pot. And also, oops, yeah, the uh, carbon felt shrunk down a little bit. And probably one of the mistakes I made on this particular stove is I smoothed out the, uh, the rough edges from the can lid so it doesn't really hold them in. I could, I could swap that out right now, as a matter of fact. I got, I got all kinds of these. I save them. Anyway, the, the lip, I think, will prevent that from sliding out. There. So there. So. There you go. You just saw an upgrade or a change. So now that little lip will keep that. Hopefully I can pick it up without uh, dropping off. Keeps the, the inner part in. So anyway, you saw it here first. <laughs> anyway, this is the... Uh, Stanley Ants cup and the uh, Fancy Feast fits perfectly inside of it, so that makes for nice uh, nesting. And 
then also depending on whether I want tea or coffee I've got a couple of tea bags here constant comment my favorite this is my outdoor tea whenever I smell that it always makes me think outdoors and I got a little bag of sugar I usually drink my stuff black but with the constant comet it has a little bit of orange peel in it so uh, I put just a little bit of sugar to kind of bring that orange peel flavor out other than that I, I really don't like sweet teas or sweet coffees like I said I drink all my stuff black I'm more of a I don't really do much sweets at all I like you know my beers I like good hearty Northwest IPAs that are really bitter so uh, <clears throat> And we go on, and then I have a uh, windscreen that I made from a Foster's beer can. And in the very bottom, again, if you look at some of my other kits, I pretty much the same stuff in all my kits, just the, just the containers are a little bit different. But this is in, the, I mentioned in my previous videos, um, this is a piece of kind of uh, craft foam that you get at the dollar store. I cut that out. And then I uh, super glued some, uh, or not super glued, uh, um, come on brain, <laughs> rubber cement, uh, some aluminum foil over the top of it. That's to kind of reflect the heat, so hopefully it won't melt, which I don't think it will. But this insulates the uh, stove from the ground, so hopefully it'll, it'll improve its performance. And then you got your, your pot here, your windscreen here. And uh, there you go, brew you up some tea or coffee. Now for coffee, I don't have any in here because uh, the cup I used when I'm out on the uh, kayak is a uh, insulated French press cup. And it's really cool, I was gonna show it to you, but I forgot to bring it out. Um, in the very bottom, there's a little uh, screw cup you can unscrew and it holds another uh, round of uh, coffee grounds. So uh, if I wanna make another cup, I could just, uh, rinse out the old uh, grounds and put those in and then just have the boiling water so that's why I don't carry a separate coffee with this it that works really slick so anyway uh, so that's the that's the little cook kit here I uh, don't know what else to say about it that's it um, thank you all for watching and uh, have a good day bye bye